Welcome back to 642. Well, pets over people. That's what a recent study found most Americans prefer as their co-worker. Yeah, and that's even over your significant other. If you're cooped up and working from home together, Meredith looked into why this could be and you even have some cute pet photos for us, right, Meredith? I do, and I mean, if you've watched Sunrise at all, even just this morning, you've seen my cat. Uh, so we took a look at pets that make good co-workers and not so good co-workers. Take a look. Yes, and I brought a special guest for oh. tonight. Oh, Chewy. Oh, Chewy. <laughs> Say hi, hi, everybody. Hi, Chewy. With so many of us working from home, that means a lot more time with our pets. And for Channel 13 viewers, you've probably seen a few of them. Hello, Ziggy. I know you're excited to share. Can you get down, though? I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Okay, sorry. And I'll tell you, he's only barked on the air twice since March's <laughs> lap, since March 12th. A study found 43% of people prefer their pet as a coworker over others. So this is Mary Mill's dog, Bailey, and this is our Sunrise producer, Greg, and his dog, Charlie. Look at those ears. Both say spending more time with their pets is a good thing. The fun thing to think about is if you thought, like, who's your ideal, you know, kind of work partner? It's like, you know, they're, they're supportive of your ideas. They pick you up when you're a little bit down. They give you a burst of energy. You know, they're um, always up for, uh, you know, going on a walk and thinking or talking about things. That would be your ideal coworker. And so maybe you do have that in your pet. So it sounds like a dog might be the ideal coworker. 13 News photographer John Duong shared this video of his cat on his work laptop. And if you're a regular viewer, you've 100% seen my cat. Sorry, bud, you're gonna have to get down. Hi, Zig. Sorry, buddy, you gotta get down. Hi, Zig, you're gonna have to get down. I'm really sorry, we gotta show the people the tweets. Oh, you gotta get down, buddy, thank you. That's why I didn't tell Ziggy he had to get down because this is just crazy. I mean, this is my life with this cat. And now we've added a puppy into the mix. And of course, the one time I'm like telling Ziggy, you can come in, you can be in this shot. He wants nothing to do with me. He doesn't want to be on TV right now. So we also asked you guys at home, what are your pets as coworkers like? Sonia sharing this picture of Emmy, a golden retriever. She's super cute. Em saying, this is Bippus teaching sixth grade e-learning. Good job, Bippus. Kristen sharing this photo of her kitty cat. Venus, another kitty cat photo. And this last one I love from Tracy, kind of like the over the back look at uh, her computer. Of course, you can always share your work from home with pets using our hashtag 13 sunrise. And you guys, I, if I had a bigger place, I live in an apartment downtown. If I had a bigger place and could put the cat somewhere, we have the puppy somewhere, another cat, I would, but I don't have a big enough home. So sometimes Ziggy just has to be up here and it's easier to just let him lay here than just kick him off. That's what I've started doing now. <laughs> well, I think it's funny how he's so interactive and I, we've seen this with a lot of our uh, videos and the pets that they are like try to paw at computers and get the attention of their yes. of their owners. It's really funny. It's really funny, especially cats. Cats are like, if I'm not the star of whatever's going right. on right now, then I'm going to make myself the star. Like at, at 5 a.m. He's like shutting my laptop and like, no, we're done now. I'll take some pets and some treats. <laughs> I think the senator is trying to now uh, steal the show here with his new headgear. Uh, Chuck, what's the story there with the poor senator? Yeah. Well, he is like me. He has problems with allergies. And so what he did was scratch the side of his face. You know, he was itching. Only dogs don't do that very well. And so we've got this. It's not the cone of shame as some people. It's, it's an Elizabethan collar. <laughs> so that's what he's wearing this morning. <laughs>